Catalonia is now theoretically under the direct control of the Spanish national government in Madrid after the area's regional parliament voted in favor of an independent republic. Early on Saturday morning Spanish Prime Minister Mariana Rajoy made direct control from Madrid official by publishing a document dismissing Catalan President Carles Puigdemont, his deputy Oriol Junqueras and all regional government members. The Madrid government has also removed Josep Luis Trapero Alvarez as chief of Catalonia's autonomous Masos police force, and Mr. Rajoy has announced the impending dissolution of the Catalan parliament and the closure of Catalan embassies abroad. Declaring that a snap Catalan regional election would be held on 21 December, Mr. Rajoy insisted we have enough means to restore legal normality in a pacific, moderate way. Whether peace really will be maintained, however, remains to be seen. Many now fear the possibility of clashes between the Masos and police or army trying to enforce the control of Madrid, with some commentators even suggesting there may be a second Spanish civil war. Catalonia's push for autonomy in the 1930s was one of the causes of the 19,361,939 civil war which led to the dictator General Franco suppressing Catalan civil liberties and language, a repression that is bitterly remembered to this day, although Mr. Pugdemont and the 12 members of the Catalan cabinet will now no longer be paid and could be charged with usurping others' functions if they refuse to obey Madrid, there was no immediate sign that they were willing to comply. Tensions are being further exacerbated by the strong likelihood that some regional nationalist MPs will face Spanish state charges of rebellion with the possibility of a maximum prison sentence of 30 years. Some among the 200,000 civil servants working in the regional administration have also said they will refuse to obey orders from Madrid, even though they now risk being fired under the new special powers adopted by the central government. Spain and the world now waits to see what will happen after the Catalan secession crisis took its most dramatic turn yet on Friday when the regional parliament voted in favor of an independent Catalan republic and 45 minutes later, the Spanish Senate granted Madrid the right to direct rule. One by one on Friday afternoon, members of Catalonia's regional parliament walked down the steps of the debating chamber, then passed their vote, written on paper to maintain anonymity, up to an official on the speaker's desk to be dropped into a wooden ballot box. The final vote count was 70 in favor of an independent Catalonia to 10 against, with two abstentions. But in a symptom of the depth of the fracture within Catalan society over independence, nearly all the opposition parties had already abandoned the chamber in protest before the vote took place, leaving behind them only Catalan and Spanish flags draped over their empty seats. The outcome of the vote, nonetheless, was given a rapturous welcome by thousands of pro-independence supporters waiting in warm sunshine outside the parliament. Amongst them were dozens of mayors from towns and villages who had traveled specially to Barcelona, many with their ceremonial staff of office, to express their support for secession. When the vote was confirmed, many broke into spontaneous renditions of El Segador's, the Catalan national anthem even as inside, nationalist MPs were doing the same. Later on Friday the huge crowds surrounding the parliament slowly moved across to the Plaza San Jam, where both the regional and Barcelona town governments are located. Even when news began to filter through of the measures taken by Mr. Rajoy, the mood in the old quarter surrounding the plaza remained largely good-humored with impromptu firework displays, loud music and the waving of Catalan flags. The people are the motor of any country and they will be here when they need to be, said one middle-aged nationalist, Pep Gracia, standing in a nearby street, when asked how he felt about the possible measures. We're very used to the Spanish reacting strongly. And it's the people who will handle matters, not the regional government. Look at where the people are, standing around calmly here in the street. Yesterday we were a monarchy, today we're a republic. It's nothing to get too uptight about. A small pro-unity demonstration in another part of central Barcelona ended with scuffles between regional police and protesters, with one radio station reporting it had had windows broken. But the nationalist celebrations in the Plaza San Jam continued unabated. It's a historic day, insisted one young independist named Mark, wearing a Catalan flag or Estelada t-shirt, as he walked through the emblematic Plaza de Catalunya. It's very important, because a lot of the population has been looking for a solution to our situation regarding Spain. We've tried to talk, looked for a negotiated, peaceful solution. Finally, we've got a majority in favor of independence from Spain, which we think is the only way forward.
Catalonia Spain PM Rajoy asks Senate for powers to depose Catalan President Puigdemont Meanwhile just 45 minutes after Friday's pro-independence vote in Barcelona, in Madrid, the Senate voted in favor of giving the Spanish government unprecedented sweeping powers for direct rule in Catalonia. There is no alternative, Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy, told the Senate. We are faced with a serious situation, which is very serious for many people. In Catalonia, the law has been ignored and disobeyed. This is the greatest ever case of disrespect to democracy with the exception of the attempted coup d'etat of 1981, Mr. Rajoy confirmed he would apply those measures already outlined in a speech he made last weekend. There has been no change, he argued, after which he received a standing ovation from the ruling Partido Popular senators. Prospects of the Declaration of Independence garnering any recognition from the international community are currently very slim, too, with European Council President Donald Tusk saying the EU would continue only to deal with the Spanish government. In London, Theresa May also made it clear the British government would not support the separatist movement. In a statement released by Downing Street the Prime Minister said the UK does not and will not recognise the unilateral declaration of independence made by the Catalan Regional Parliament. It is based on a vote that was declared illegal by the Spanish courts. We continue to want to see the rule of law upheld, the Spanish constitution respected, and Spanish unity preserved, Ms. May added. Germany also said it would not recognize the legality of the independence referendum. Berlin supported the clear position of Prime Minister Rajoy in his bid to restore common order, a government spokesperson said. In the wake of the vote, Catalans are preparing for repercussions. I'm sure there's going to be a strong reaction from Madrid, I don't know against who or how many people, but what us Catalans already know is that we won't resort to violence, observed Mark, the young separatist. If one side doesn't want to fight, then there won't be a fight, reuse content.